Hello, I hope you're having the most beautiful day ever and here's hoping that things only get better from here because we're going to be listening to Selena Gomez's new song, Single Soon, for the very first time and watching this video for the very first time. Of course, the ad for this music video is an ad for only murders in the building. I mean, genius. Hi, I love you, Sissy. Never worried about boyfriends at Okay, so before moving on, there's like 9 million things that I want to say and I've already forgotten 88% of them, so I'm just going to try to get out everything that comes to my brain. How could you not mention how magically, stunningly, beautiful, and perfect she is, everything that I wish I could be, but also all the purples and all the sparkles, they so work for her, and I'm living for the fact that it's kind of giving that she's in her Speak Now era. Her Speak Now era. As a Speak Now stand, that just makes me feel so alive and thriving, but yeah, no, she's, she's spectacular. In terms of the music, I really, really love the melody right off the bat. I love the beat down in the instrumentation and the musicality of the song. It feels very danceable, very poppy, but there's also something very, very sultry and seductive and like, like kind of luring you in a little bit. Like it's a mixture of the monotonous nature of the song. It's very repetitive. A lot of the notes are the same and recycled. And then she ends on these slides that's executed so beautifully and so like, so crisp and it, it just melts. That's the kind of feeling it gives, it melts. And she adds just a slight touch of this crispy rasp that's just stunning. And I like how she punches each of the notes too. And then we have this switch up in the melody here into like a pre-chorus or, or a chorus. It's just a new section of the song has started now and things are starting to be a little more stretched, a little more elongated and elegant and... It's just so funny too because the subject matter is a bit bittersweet, but I like the optimistic nature of this song. It's like touching on something so sad from such a such a careless, carefree, almost sociopathic angle, like just this happy, happy nature, which this sad situation of being single soon, I could, I guess, be interpreted this way, just with hopeful eyes for the future and what could be like these positive ideas and all the majors going on in the music support this happy theory and all the visuals in the music video support it too with the bright colors and the the beauty and glamour We both had a lot of fun. Time to find another one. What does that remind me of? Thank you, next. Thank you, next. Can we get a collab? And out this dress, trying on these shoes. I know he'll be a mess when I break the news. I'll be single soon. Just such a queen. And then the visuals, too, with the the projection going on over her face just gave me a total flashback to uh, Ari song with Mac Miller, The Way. Just all the colors going on. It almost feels like I'm watching an A24 movie. Yeah, I'll be I love that breakdown. I love how stripped it got and it started to rely a little bit more on her vocals, which just soared and carried that that breakdown or bridge section really beautiful. And then the way that the percussion came in, that drum, the beat came back in to kick the song back into full gear. Oh, I love it. And I mean, now we've got Selena in the pool. Well, who's next? Well, who's next? A collab with Ari. That's that's what I'm hoping is next. 
I love how the song began with Selena's little sister, Gracie, giving her some very sage and wise advice. <laughs> you know, I think that little kids are just full of that, full of, full of kind, happy advice because, you know, they're not muddied and jaded by reality yet. They're just, you know, in fantasy land and Disney world in their mind. So that was very cute. And I just think Selena's sister is so adorable. I love her. Um, and then I like how it ends with her speaking too. So it feels very relatable and very fun and danceable. I feel like this is one of those songs too that you can just blast and have a party to. I do think that this song is also very important and it's empowering for anyone going through this similar situation. And I love that transition there too, because we have a few transitions in the song, I think two. And this is the one where I feel like we kind of have that first minor moment, even though I feel like lyrically it's getting more positive like she's focusing on the more positive things like i'm gonna do what i want to do i'm free i'm empowered i can do whatever i want we still have like a minor chord which could be like the undertones to what she's saying or like the subtext she feels like she's held back or she just feels like there's so much negativity going on she has to focus on the positive and that that minor chord is like the underlying sadness that's still there and still real even when you're trying to look at the sunnier side of things <laughs> so thank you for listening with me thank you for watching this beautiful stunning work of art of a music video anytime there's a video of selena gomez it's going to be beautiful because her face just is a portrait <laughs> i hope you have the most magical night that you stay safe and that you take it easy